Hey YouTube, this is Sanam and welcome to my channel Public Void Geek. Today we are going to learn about one signal which is uh, basically push notification service. It's a free service uh, that you can integrate with your iOS uh, project, Swift, iOS Swift project or even Objective-C. It does support web and Android as well. So you can see you can go on to onesignal.com and you can check out their website you will know uh, the sites or the companies that are using uh, one signal companies like uber adobe cisco all these companies are using uh, one signal so today i'm going to teach you how to integrate one signal into your ios swift project so let's get started to uh, you know uh, test out uh, one signal or in order to use push notifications in iOS uh, you would need a couple of things first thing is physical device so without a physical device you cannot test the push notification be it one signal or any other third party push notification service that you use or even if you have your own push notification service you won't be able to test it out on simulators so you would need a a physical device to do that and uh, secondly a paid Apple developer account because we'll have to create a certificate a push notification certificate from um, Apple developer account and we need to submit that push uh, notification certificate to uh, one signal so once we upload that then our services will start working well that being said uh, let's get started so first thing that we would need to do is up on to onesignal.com go to login and create your account I've already created so I'm gonna open it up uh, so this is how it's gonna look like once you log in with your one signal account uh, it's gonna be a blank page so we'll come back to this page I'll I'll be posting these links as well like the SDK setup documentation and all the other links that I'm gonna use here I'll be posting it in the description so well first thing that we would, that, that we need to do here is uh, we need to create a, a push notification certificate right so how to do that uh, this link that I'm gonna share with you uh, this link has the details so there are a couple of ways that one signal has given first one is uh, using their own provisionator tool you can use that and you will be able to skip all of this uh, manual work so you'll directly be heading to step four that is uploading your certificate so everything will be done by provisionator tool uh, however I don't uh, like to use this because it requires me to turn off my two-factor authentication and I don't like to sign up with my Apple ID developer account to with any other websites so I'm gonna go for the uh, normal manual way of uh, creating the certificate and uploading it so let's do that let's go like this and we'll we're gonna use it so let's go to keychain access and I don't know why it stopped. Sure. So we are here at Keychain Access. Once this is open, go to Keychain Access, Certificate Assistant, and request a certificate from a certificate authority. All right. So enter your email address here. I'm gonna put mine so uh, just select save to disk and then this option will be will not be required it will be an optional so let's select as even these guys are saying save to disk so let's save to disk and continue I'm gonna save it on the onto the desktop itself so 
this is the signing request we need to upload this uh, to Apple developer account so this is basically telling Apple that this is my computer this is the uh, you know authenticity of the certificate so so now we're gonna head on to developer.apple.com login and then go to certificate IDs and profiles I'm gonna push this out right. I'm gonna hide all of these because there are some uh, you know certificates uh, for production apps that are on App Store right now so I cannot uh, show the bundle IDs for them uh, cool so well uh, we've already opened our uh, developer account let's also create a uh, Xcode project so create a new project a single view application is fine uh, DF is okay. uh, we're gonna say push notif try next uh, the desktop is fine for now so I'm gonna use my team it's gonna create provisioning profile and everything for me um, as I said you need to have a paid developer account so that this thing works and if it, you don't find this you can just go into add-on account and you can sign in with your Apple ID Apple developer account and then it will come up in Xcode okay let's go to app ID so inside app IDs on the left side under identifiers inside app IDs create a new app ID usually this thing is handled by Xcode uh, I'm gonna do it here now so uh, let's say DEF dot push my note this is the bundle identifier that's what I'm gonna put push my note if try and then you're gonna select what all services you want to use uh, I need a push notification so let's check if one signal needs something else apart from this and then continue so you can see it looks something similar uh, game center is enabled and in-app purchase is enabled and push notifications is set to configurable and we're gonna configure it now register and done so now we're gonna go to certificates all and then create a certificate here so this is the one that uh, one signal wants and we're gonna go for this one so def push notif continue continue and choose the CSR this is the CSR continue and download and you can see APS.CER this is the one that one signal wants and we're gonna give this one to well there will be one more thing so let's go and let me just create something so okay so we have downloaded the certificate so let's go to our one signal account 
and create an app so we are calling it push my notif try our app right. we need apple ios next so if you see the file that we have downloaded it's aps.cer and the file that they are asking is .p12 which is a uh, basically a protection certificate for uh, push notification so how can we convert this APS to CER well we're gonna go back to our old friend keychain access and let's just we add it and the new wait for a few minutes Here you can see we have our Apple push services def dot push notify. This is the certificate uh, that we just created and downloaded from Apple. So right click on it, click on export, and I'm gonna create it on the desktop. Save it on the desktop itself, and you can see the default file format is p12, which is what we need. So save, and you just set a password. I'm gonna set it to one two three one two three. Let's see okay and this is your system uh, password so I set it to always allow okay let's go back and now we can select our certificate which is certificates dot p12 choose and done cool and the password that you set so i set one two three for the certificate i'm gonna set it over here as well one two three you can leave it blank as well i just set it one two three so i'm gonna put it here and this is what we want well so till now what we have done is we have uh, created an app uh, in xcode and then we created a, a system certificate uh, CSR of our computer then we went to developer.apple.com we created the app ID and then we went ahead and uh, created the certificate a push notification production certificate using our CSR and bundle ID and then we downloaded the the certificate and opened it up in keychain and exported as p12 and uploaded to one signal so basically now one signal can talk to apple to send the push notifications but it is not yet configured to talk to our app to send push notifications or at, or we can say our app is not yet configured to talk to push uh, to one signal servers to receive the push notifications so that's what we're gonna do next uh, this video is I think getting too long so I'm gonna stop it here and then we're gonna continue from here right, guys don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel and also follow me on Twitter and Instagram and let me know if you have any questions about the video I'll see you in my next video part 2 of fun signal integration until then bye bye